Okay, welcome to lesson 11 preview video. In lesson 11, your objective is going to be to multiply a decimal fraction by a single digit whole numbers related to a written method through application of the area model and place value understanding to explain the reasoning used. It's very important you understand the area model. Okay, if you look at problem one, it says solve by drawing this in a place value chart. So you can see what they've done here is they've drawn ourselves a place value chart. And it says four groups of five hundredths. So we're in the hundredths and we got one, two, three, four, five. And there's one group, two group, three groups, four groups. And we know when we count them up, if we have ten hundredths, that equals one tenth. Okay. And here we have 10 more hundredths, and that equals one tenth. So four groups of, of five hundredths equal two tenths. And this is how it's written in standard form. Now under C, it says four times seven tenths. So in the same thing, if I do my place value chart, and all I'm going to draw is my ones place, in my tenths place says four times seven tenths. So I'm doing two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths, and I'm doing that four times. Okay, now that's four groups. Actually, that's only three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's four groups of seven tenths. Now I'm going to group these in groups of ten. So I know there's four, eight, and there's ten. So there's one group. Here's a second group. And on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have these two that are going to move over, and they're going to be tenths. So now I'm going to end up with two tenths. And over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. So four times seven tenths would equal two tenths, eight hundredths. And the way we would write that would be two tenths, eight hundredths. Number two says draw a model similar to the one pictured to find the sum of the partial products to evaluate each expression. Okay. So. If we're talking, we see what they've done here. They've done a area model, and they're saying four here, okay, which is four times six ones, seven tenths, and nine hundredths. So if I were to draw, draw for partial products like they've done here, four times six would give me twenty-four ones. So I got 24 ones. Now I got four here times seven tenths. And I know four times seven is going to give me 28. So I'm going to have 28 tenths. The next one I have four times nine hundredths. So four times nine is 36 hundredths. So now if I were to do my place value chart, I know I got 24 ones, 28 tenths is going to be 2 and 8 tenths because the 8 is in the tenths place, and 36 hundredths, I know the 6 is in the hundredths place, so we're going to end up with 0 and the 6 in the hundredths place. So all these are being added together, so I can see I have 24, and I have 2 and 8 tenths, and I have 0 and 36 hundredths. Now when I'm adding them together, I'm going to sit there and put placeholders in each 
1, so they have the same amount, and I end up with 6. 8 and 3 is 11. Carry the 1. 4, 5, 6, 7. And the 2. So we know that this correct answer is going to be 27 and 16 hundredths. On question three, it says Leon multiplied eight times four and three tenths and got 32 and 24. Is Leon correct? Use the error model to explain your answer. So we're going to use an area model. And on the side of my area model, I'm going to have eight. And then I'm going to break it up into four ones, three tenths. So here I have eight times four ones, which eight times four is going to be 32. So I know I have 32 ones. And over here I have eight times three tenths. So now eight times three is 24. So that's going to be 24 tenths. So I know eight times four and three tenths is equal to 32 and 24. Yes, Leanne is correct.